We continue our coverage of the Michael Bever murder trial as the judge decides jurors will not see any autopsy photos of the five victims. News on 6 crime reporter Lori Fulbright is on the story and was in court when a veteran crime scene investigator broke down. There was a moment in court that was just, oh, the crime scene investigator who's been testifying is a big barrel chested man. He's been a CSI probably 15 years, investigated 1500 scenes. He has matter of factly been walking these jurors through dozens of crime scene photos that depict blood on this wall, blood on this floor, blood on this piece of furniture, even described for them the bloody body of David Bether, the father. But when that picture popped up on the screen of seven year old Christopher, and five year old Victoria in what appeared to be their pajamas, huddled in a bathroom floor, blood everywhere. He couldn't go on. He had to step out of the courtroom for a moment and collect himself, and it was during that time I saw two jurors reach for a tissue. Prosecutors are trying to prove Michael Bever murdered his parents, two younger brothers, a younger sister, and then tried to kill a teenage sister. But defense attorneys for Bever argue that Michael's brother Robert was the one who's responsible for most of the carnage, and Michael only went along because he was afraid Robert would turn on him. The judge ruled the jury would not be allowed to see one single autopsy photo. She said the cause of death is not an issue here because both sides agree the victims were stabbed to death. She also said the pictures would be prejudicial and only inflame the jury. The CSI did testify that two knives, a hatchet, and some Kevlar protective clothing were found in the same room as the father's body. Prosecutors have called more than a dozen witnesses, and there are still more on their list. It is looking more and more like this trial is going to go into next week. On the scene on the story in Tulsa, Lori Fulbright, News on 6.